So the personal statement is perhaps one of the biggest aspects of your university application. So for medicine, while some universities say they don't look at your personal statement, others do put greater emphasis on it. So before you apply, it's obviously a great idea to have a look at each of the university's uh, individual requirements. Regardless, you should try to have a solid personal statement which is unique and sets you apart from other candidates as it could be the make or break of your application. So if you don't know already, the personal statement is a 4,000 character essay, including spaces, that the universities you have applied to will see. In this video, I will go through several aspects of the personal statement for medicine, including how you should structure it, what to do and what not to do. I'll put timestamps in the description below if you'd like to skip to certain parts of the video. First, I'll go through some kind of general tips when it comes to both planning and writing your personal statement. First of all, look at the websites of the universities you want to apply to. Generally, they shouldn't really differ so much as to what they require out of your personal statement, but certain universities may require you to show certain skills or experiences that you've had or have. So before anything, just have a quick look at this to kind of guide your planning to your personal statement. My next tip before you do any writing for your personal statement is to jot down any key experiences you have. So whether that be work experience or volunteering and perhaps reflect on these experiences. If you've done all of this well in advance, when it comes to writing your personal statement, you'll remember these experiences and it will make the whole process a lot, lot easier for you. Now, the concept of reflection, which I've just mentioned, is incredibly important for your personal statement and I'll talk more about it later on in the video. So in terms of the aims of the personal statement and what it should include, the personal statement, as I mentioned, is only 4,000 characters, which equates to roughly 650 words, which is not much at all. It's kind of your opportunity to show to the admissions department why you're suitable for a career in medicine and why they should pick you. Within your personal statement, you should aim to talk about your motivations to study medicine, as well as any experiences and skills you have, of course, linking them to why they would make you a great doctor. Because at the end of the day, while you are applying to university, you are ultimately applying for the job of a doctor. So I'll go into more detail on how to write your personal statement in terms of each paragraph and the structure of each paragraph later on in the video. So now in terms of what your personal statement should not be, first of all, you shouldn't simply just be listing any skills or traits that you have. It's about showing, not telling. Whilst you should talk about skills that you have, like teamwork, for example, you must back it up and provide evidence as to kind of how you've come to develop these skills. Likewise, you shouldn't simply just list a bunch of extracurricular or supracurricular activities that you've done, rather talk about how these have made you a strong candidate for medical school. And that again goes back to the key thing in your personal statement, which is reflection, which I'll talk about more later on. Now secondly, don't be cliche. You've definitely heard of the cliche saying of I want to be a doctor because I want to help people. Do not say this. There are thousands of medical applicants and you want to stand out. Give your own unique experiences and anecdotes as to what has shaped your journey into pursuing a career in medicine. Try to avoid talking about the influence of others, like family. Make it clear that your motivation to study medicine comes from within you. Maybe it is true that perhaps your parents are doctors and that kind of has ultimately shaped your decision into going down the same career path. But medical schools want someone who wants to and is genuinely determined to go into medicine, not someone who is doing it because of any external pressure. So typically, I would say to try and avoid any anecdotes about family members kind of guiding you towards medicine and then influencing you, as this can perhaps be a huge red flag for people reading your personal statement. So now, in terms of how you should structure your personal statement. So before writing your personal statement, I would definitely recommend having a look at the Medical School Council's document on what makes a good doctor, which I will put in the description below. So the document shows key skills which you must show that you have within your personal statement. Certain universities may also list some of these key skills on their websites too, so be sure to look out for that 
before writing your personal statement. So there are several ways in which you can structure your personal statement, but generally it should be based around reflection. I know I keep going on about reflection, 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 but what exactly is it? Essentially by reflection, I mean drawing on your own personal experiences, talking about how you felt, your emotion, what you learned, what you did well, what you didn't do so well, and what you could do differently next time. And then of course, linking it back to medicine. So how a particular experience made you better suited for a career in medicine, or how a skill that you've gained is perhaps very important for a doctor. Now a very useful and well-known technique in reflection is the STAR technique. It stands for situation, task, action, result, and reflection. So situation, you start off briefly describing the situation you're in, and what's going on around you. Making it brief, but as specific as you can. Then talk about your task in the given situation and what your role is. For action, you would talk about what you did in the given situation and why. Then the result. So what was the outcome? Then the most important bit, of course, is the reflection. What did you learn from this situation or experience? And how can you take the skills you've gained with you into the future? If you want to learn more about the STAR technique, as I've only kind of gone through it briefly, there are many videos online on YouTube and articles online as well. So an alternate kind of paragraph structure for your personal statement could be as follows. So start off by talking about kind of a medical based experience like your work experience, for example, then talk about any skills that you've identified within the situation. For example, you shadowed a doctor and you noticed his communication skills when talking to a patient. Then talk about why that skill is so important in medicine and perhaps when it can be used. And then summing up perhaps with an example of when you have demonstrated that skill or where you've been able to improve on it. The focus of your personal statement should be on reflection, on what you've learned, what skills you've gained, and linking it back to medicine. Keep the storytelling to a minimum, as you do not have the word count and you'll notice yourself running out of words so quickly. It's the quality of reflection that really matters rather than the quantity of loads of different experiences. It's better to have two, three, four very detailed reflections rather than 10, 20 different experiences that you've done. So in terms of when you should write your personal statement, so I would say write it in the summer before you apply. So typically in between year 12 and 13, it can be done in a very short period of time, but I would say spreading it over kind of a few weeks would be more helpful. It is also important to get other people to read and critique your personal statement such as family members, friends, teachers. Now this can be really useful to kind of have another set of eyes to have a look at your personal statement, just to perhaps pick on any small errors that you may not have noticed. I hope you found this video useful and now you can use the information I've given to write a banging personal statement. Check out my contact details in the description below if you need any assistance in your medicine application. Good luck with your application and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and look out for future videos to help you with your application.